Hey everybody, my name is Kitty, and welcome back for another video of AI Dungeon 2 slash just AI Dungeon, I guess. Not too entirely sure what to name it, but it's a per it's a really good game. Well, I won't say a perfect game, but it's a really, definitely a good game. I enjoy playing this game uh, for you guys for the first part. I decided to switch it up a bit, actually. I did say at the end of the first video I was going to create a poll or something and then I was going to ask you what do we do next with the story we were going for right there boys. But uh, you know what I decided to completely change it all across the board start a new series. I created already my own custom thing. Uh, we're going to try and put it in the Star Wars Galaxy. I specifically pinned it down so the AI is supposed to know that when it takes place and where we are. So this, uh, what basically happens this year is I'm going to be a mysterious force user from a, from planet Earth. So obviously I'm going I'm coming from planet Earth, but I've got the force abilities. All right, I'm a force user. I have traveled far away in the Star Wars galaxy in order to change certain ongoing events, such as the Clone Wars, from happening. So we're trying to modify the story of Star Wars altogether, uh, how it went down and everything. And uh, we're basically cheating our way through time, I guess. So I arrived in on the large plains of Naboo and can see a huge battle raging between the Federation's droids and the Gungan soldiers. There we go. So this is what I've written down, boys. Now, the next part is the AI uh, asking me. I know that you will be able to help me. So please come out of your home and join us. So I imagine that the, uh, the Gungan soldiers asking me to help them out. Now I've got two options right here. It's either I go help, because now let's remember we're in the, it, the, towards the end of Phantom Menace. This is where we come from. We spawn right there in the middle of it all. We have force abilities, which I'm not going to talk about just yet. I'm not going to show them. Um, I think... I want to grow myself up. I don't want to have, I want to be super OP or anything, but I do want to have force crush, force choke. Not really. I think I'm not going to have force choke. I'm going to have force crush. I want to have the shatter point ability, which is the ability the Mace Windu had, which was basically seeing the weak points in every enemy. So the, be the, the worst weak points of every enemy, uh, Mace Windu was able to see weak points of anything. So I want to kind of have that ability. That's an OP ability, but that's about all I'm going to do. I'm, it's not like I'm going to put myself at battle meditation or anything. I'm not going to do that because that, then I would be OP. All I can say is I'm going to put myself Shatter Point for the lightsaber abilities. I'm going to put Force Crush, just like Mace Windu can. And I'm also going to do um, Force Lightning. Now... It says I'm a force user. What type of force user is exactly? I'm not sure exactly. You know, I'm going to try to uh, think it out. The first thing I want to do is here is either save, like help out the Gungans or help out the Federation droids. Where do I want to go? I want to help out Qui-Gon. I, I want Qui-Gon to survive and I want to see if it's going to work out. All right. I'm going to head towards feed right away. So we're in the middle of the battle right there in the plains itself. So I'm going to just say I rush past the uh, ongoing battle. So you rush past the ongoing battle and then towards the capital feed. You run towards the battle and find yourself running through the street, uh, streets of uh, tea, uh, feed. There we go. Next stop, I want to say, because I know the Gungans are going to win the battle anyways. They don't need my help. Thanks to Jar Jar. Uh, of all people. They don't need my help. Who needs my help is Qui-Gon. I want to see what happens if I try and save Qui-Gon. Alright, so I'm just going to say I managed... Uh, you managed to get inside the main palace's anger and can hear what seems to be a fight between two Jedi and a Sith. Alright, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, you enter the palace and begin heading to where you think the Sith Jedi battle is taking place. There we go. You can hear the sounds of lightsabers clashing accompanied by two other voices. All right, so I can hear the, the sounds of the lightsabers. I'm closing in on the battle, boys. Now, they're going to be surprised. These guys are, are going to be like, who the fuck are you? So I am um, heading towards there right now. Uh, so begin heading towards, yeah, where, the, where you think the battle is taking place. All right, so I'm just going to say I arrived just in time 
to see the older Jedi pursue the Sith into the uh, reactor's chamber, which is where uh, he ends up dying, uh, Qui-Gon that is. So, as you enter the room, you hear a familiar voice cry out in anger as he appears to be fighting a Sith, uh, with a Sith Lord. Okay, so cry out in anger, huh? So, I, I messed it up. Oh man, I didn't arrive in time. Couldn't save him. Because that must be Obi-Wan right there, crying right there. Uh, saying the no thing and stuff like that. All right, so uh, you enter the room, you hear a familiar voice, cry out in anger. I'm here to save your master's life. I'm just gonna say that right away. Don't worry, friend. I'm here to. Uh, uh, I'm here to save your master's life. There we go. So I'm just gonna uh, see what uh, the AI says. So, uh, just as the Sith Lord is about to finish off the the Jedi Master, you quickly shoot him in the back and watch as he falls to the to, uh, the, to the floor in a heap. Wow, I just shoot him in the back just like that. Cheap shot, boys. I managed to save him. So you turn towards Qui-Gon Jinn and ask him, Are you alright? We're gonna see if he's, okay, if he's okay. Because he was about to get killed right there. We saved him. He seems to be happy to see you. Thank you for saving me. I am weak for letting my guard down, but we both know the Sith are everywhere. Now come on. Now come on. We must save the Republic. Alright. So now both Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are with me. After you, I guess. Uh, after you. There we go. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to follow him, boys. So, um, so he quickly helps the Jedi Master up. And the pair of you uh, makes ha make haste towards the Sinif house. There we go. The planet seems to have gone into revolt. Droids all, uh, of all kinds seem to be running amok across the planet. Stop any dro rogue droids from attacking uh, the civilians. You fire upon a group of Tatooine settlers who seem to be in the middle of robbing a poor trader. Oh, that's kind of interesting. They hide behind their AD ADSD walkers but happily surrender when fired upon. Okay, interesting, interesting, boys. You head towards the Senate house in order to assess, in order to assess the situation with the Queen Amidala. As you enter the doors of the Senate, you notice that all the Republic senators have been secured and are currently interrogating Qui-Gon. Who has been stripped to his underwear. What? What just happened here boys? So I'm just going to tell them to release the Jedi. Because he's not our enemy. I don't know what's going on. The senators seem to be angry at first. But then realize you are right. And let him finish getting dressed. Alright good good. Um, sorry for this confusion. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, apologize for this. So, sorry about the for, for the confusion, Master Jin. It seems the senators made a, f uh, a small mistake when they first saw you. Alright, I'm just going to apologize about that one. He seems to be glad that you cleared him. Uh, and remarks that you have been proven as a very trustworthy ally. Of course I am. I've, I, I literally saved his life. You both quickly leave the building before any of the senators start interrogating you. Alright, we get the fuck out of here then. Alright, so next up, I think we can skip a little bit. We take a shuttle and we're going to head towards the capital, which is Coruscant. Uh, hopefully, because we got to talk about what happened there and stuff like that. We got to assess the situation with the Jedis. You get into the shuttle and fly towards the planet Coruscant. You are glad to be away uh, from that oxygenless swamp planet. From what you can tell, the planet is quite large. It sure is. It sure is. All right. So I'm just going to say, boys, uh, if you don't mind, Master Jedi... I think, well, it says always like that. I don't like that. think you should leave the young Skywalker behind for now. I feel, I feel like the, uh, I feel a great disturbance in the force whenever I, I get near him. Whenever I'm near him, boys. So, Qui-Gon seems to think for a moment and then mentions something about leaving him with the villagers on Tatupa. Where's that? Uh, you, doubt, uh, you doubt if that is even going to be a choice for them anymore. Well, I'm just going to say, because I'm not going to say I, because every time it's going to say you. I'm just going to say it straight up, boys. Uh, that young guy, he's a, he's a potential threat to the Jedi Order altogether. He should be returned to his mother on Tatooine. He shouldn't be with us. He shouldn't be with us at all, boys. He seems to think about this for a moment and then states that perhaps leaving him with his uncle on Tatooine would be better. Well, there we go. So now that it seems to think the right way, for some reason, Qui-Gon seems to uh, agree with me. So that's a good thing. So I'm just going to say, you arrive on Coruscant and head towards the Jedi Temple. I'm just going to say that now. So it seems like I managed to 
uh, secure uh, Qui-Gon's mind on the fact that maybe Anakin shouldn't be trained. Uh, the shuttle lands on the Chidan Temple and you head towards the front door where you are greeted by many of the members. They ask you about the mission, but you keep it vague. All right, so I'm going to tell them like this. The Sith Lord was killed by my hands before he could land a killing blow on Master Jin. The statement, th this statement is met with much surprise as you are greeted as a hero. You are told that Qui-Gon will be joining you for the celebration meal. All right, so I'm greeted as a hero. That's very surprising. You would think that maybe if Mace Windu was there, it would be a jackass and start uh, asking me questions. But I guess not. I guess um, uh, I guess we're fine. So, so let's see what they have to say about uh, the whole Skywalker situation. Are they gonna be? What are gonna their stance about that? So during the celebration meal, you are joined by the council. Qui Gon joins you, and the council members begin to discuss the situation. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm just going to ask them straight up, boys. What should we do about this guy? Are we training him? Are we just leaving him on the sands of Tatooine again? Are we leaving him on that? Naboo. Master Yoda believes the droids should be destroyed since he is not a Jedi and has no business with them. What? So, what droid? What are you talking about? Anakin's not a droid. Alright, so I agree. I'm just going to say that. I, I just agree. I agree, you should be destroyed altogether. Master Cluzo think it is the be it is best to leave the droid with Owen and his gang on Tatooine for the time. Yeah, but why the droid though? He's not a droid. What are you talking about? Leader Sword will be more protected in their care than Anakin will be with the Jedi. You will uh, we will return young Skywalker to his mother on his home planet and investigate further the possibility of another Sith Lord lurking in the shadows, boys. Qui-Gon tells you all that he is going to see Padme and you are left to discuss this new information with the Council. Alright, so it looks like Qui-Gon is just leaving uh, to see Padme, probably telling him, telling her that uh, they're just going to walk on by and get Anakin, sh ship Anakin back to Tatooine, which is going to be interesting. Uh, you turn your eyes towards Master Windu and ask him what is wrong. He's definitely, he probably is thinking of something at this point. So I got to know what's on his mind right now. He seems deep in fall and just stares at his food. You try to get his attention again, but he still does not look at you. All right. Who could he possibly think? Does he know already? Who should it be, boys? We're going to ask him. We don't know for now. He gives a quiet laugh before replying that he must be a young, uh, it must be young Anakin's mother. What? Master Yoda is correct. It is young Anakin's mother. What are you talking about? What? Anakin's mother? Shmi is a Sith Lord, boys. What you just told me? We, we, we had to return Anakin's to, Anakin to his mother. What are they doing, man? They don't seem to know what the fuck they're talking about, boys. This is all over the place right now. Well, maybe we should kill them then. There we go. I'm going to I'm just going to stay straight up. You propose that you should kill his mother then if she is the uh, said lord. Master Yoda thinks about this for a moment and realizes that this plan might be acceptable. So he doesn't see any reason why he couldn't be done. The council members seems to agree with the plan. Well, all right. We're just going to What are we doing with Anakin then? What the fuck, man? We're just going to kill his mother. The Jedi pl uh, plotting against the mother, Anakin's mother. What the fuck is this? I'm just going to ask them, who who should you dispatch for this particular assignment? Which Jedi do they want to dispatch? What Who do they want to send after Anakin's mother? I'm intrigued. You all agree that the assignment should be done by, one, by the one who is to deliver the young Skywalkers to his home planet of Tatooine. I'm just going to ask, I guess, Master Jin is the one who should do it? Only Master Jin is strong enough to take on the task of dispatching young Anakin's mother. Really? The council is in agreement that Master Jin is the one to do the deed. All right, then. All right. All right, I'm going to say it like that. Uh, in that case, I shall accompany him for this mission. I'm just going to say, Qui-Gon and Master Jin. Master Jin, it's, it's him. Well, okay. We leave with their respective groups soon afterwards. All right, so um, it looks like we're leaving with Qui-Gon, boys, of all things. Qui-Gon seems that, so it seems like what we're going to be doing here in the next video, because we're going to leave it right here. We killed, first thing we did, we spawned in Naboo at the end of Phantom Menace. 
What we had was the middle of the battle. Instead of helping out the Gungans, they didn't have, need our help. What we did was change the, the, the universe a little bit. So we went into the palace. We rushed straight into the fight between Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan and Darth Maul. Right as they were at the end right there, where Qui-Gon was about to get killed by Darth Maul, I come towards Darth Maul's back. I shoot him on the back. He dies. So I just backstab him from the back. I kill Darth Maul. Save uh, Qui-Gon's life. Then we head out towards the Zenith complex where Padme is, uh, is here is and everything. We try and talk to them and they strip naked Qui-Gon for some reason. I tell them, don't do that. That's not the right thing to do to a Jedi. Then they say, oh, uh, you're pretty much right about that, which is kind of weird. Then we head back to Coruscant. We start talking with um, uh, Qui-Gon, talk about the fact that Skywalker should probably stay behind and not become a Jedi. He kind of agrees. We arrive at Coruscant, meet with the Jedi Council in a little like celebration meal and everything. I become the hero because everybody knows I'm the one who kills Darth Maul, killed Darth Maul. Uh, and then during the meeting, uh, Qui-Gon says, I'm just going to go meet with Padme, I'm going to talk to her. While he's doing that, I meet with the council. I ask them, I ask Lily, Yoda, and Mace Windu, what the fuck do I do? What are you, what are you doing with Anakin? These, first they said, ship Anakin back to Tatooine. We don't want him. Fine, I guess. We say, I, I ask Yoda, who the fuck is the Sith Lord uh, on your mind? And he says, Anakin's mother. Shmi is a Sith Lord. It could be Palpatine? No, I guess not. It's she. Shmi is this. All right, whatever. So I say, well, we should probably kill her. He says, all right. So who is to go with there? I guess it's Qui-Gon, boy. So we're going to find out what happens next time. Me and Qui-Gon, uh, without Obi-Wan this time. I don't think Obi-Wan needs to be uh, to be there. We're just going to be Qui-Gon and me. We're going to head towards Tatooine. We're going to bring back Anakin towards Tatooine. Just in time for him to see us kill his mother. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll see how it goes. But uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.